Israeli restrictions on Palestinian businesses are so tight, even salt can't sift through. The only Palestinian salt factory is feeling the pinch. Palestinian businessman Hussam al-Hallaq believes his company's problems cannot be solved by economic incentives only. This is a military area, so we're restricted in getting any type of uh, permits to, uh, to expand with existing buildings. Things that we want is not giveaways, but actually business opportunities. Not only does the company need Israeli coordination to pump water from the Dead Sea, it also takes him a lot of time and money to export the salt using Israeli-controlled ports. The factory that employs 25 workers is the only Palestinian-owned business on the shores of the Dead Sea and has hardly changed or been improved since it started in the early 1960s. Owners need Israeli permission before they can build any structure in this area. Sometimes they never get it. It took Hussam al-Hallaq 30 years before the go-ahead was given to build this showroom. The factory is the main source of salt for Palestinians, including many businesses in the occupied West Bank. Like many other Palestinian businesses, the owner of this food pickling business says profits could triple if he had unrestricted access to land and water, as well as free movement of products. Israel controls all water supplies in the West Bank. The Palestinian Water Authority estimates that Palestinians can only use 15% of their water resources. Israelis use the remaining 85%. A former economy minister for the Palestinian Authority and businessman Mazen Sonokrot says that economic prosperity needs to be in parallel with a political process. So we don't believe in cosmetics, surgeries here and there. We believe in lifting occupation. That means lifting the siege on the West Bank, on Jerusalem, and on Gaza. This will give us the space to grow, the space to work. In a further restriction to cripple the economy, the Israeli government restricts Palestinians from using 60% of the land in the West Bank to build factories or anything else. The core of the crisis goes back to the establishment of the Palestinian Authority. The obligations of the people in the occupied territory has been transferred to the Palestinian Authority. At the same time, it inherited a weak economy. Israel's deduction of tax revenues, which it collects on behalf of the Palestinian Authority, is at the heart of the Authority's financial crisis. That, says Palestinians, coupled with reduced aid from foreign donors, as well as the long-standing restrictions on businesses, further blocks the road to economic progress. Nida Ibrahim Al Jazeera, The Occupied West Bank.